Is this the best training aid of all time? I think it possibly could be. Now, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, a few weeks ago on Short Game Saturday, I put a video up saying, which one would you prefer, a watch or a laser? The watch came out on top. So, I'm giving you a chance to win this. This is the watch that I've been sent by Golf Buddy UK, but I wanna give it back to you. I think it's January, it's been a tough year that we've had. What a, what a best to put a smile on our face than win a brand new Golf Buddy golf watch. So, at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can enter to win this. So, how best can we use these? So, I've been sent these golf nets by Eco Shop, and I actually think they're really, really good. Now, what we're gonna do here is, is show you why, actually, sometimes, when you're practicing short game, you've gotta be a little bit more creative. Now, whether you're at home or you're lucky enough to be able to act as a golf course right now, I think this is a great way to improve your short game. Before that though, I want you to think of this situation. Whenever we do practice our short game, which we know a lot of us like to think we do, but we don't. We always like to go and hit driver or hit our irons and that's fine, because I'm exactly the same. So when we're practicing our golf, there's three main things that we want to control. And these are the areas that I want you to work on every time you practice your short game. That's strike, that's trajectory, and that's distance control. I believe that these will do all three. Now, at the end of the video, as well as telling you how you can enter the giveaway, I will also show you a cheaper alternative or even another alternative to way of doing this if you don't have the nets. So I've set these two nets out, one here and one a little bit further back. We've got a big hole and the small one on the right. Got four golf balls. Let's see how many I can get in. Okay, we're gonna go with one ball and I'll tell you the reason why, another reason why this is really important, so do stick around. I'm gonna go the toughy, back right, top bins, here we go. Let's go. Strike, trajectory, distance control. <laughs> here we go, first one in. So, another reason why I think this is really good, how often, whether you're lucky enough to be able to go and practice at a driving range or at your golf course right now, or just practicing at home, do you practice one dimensionally, stood in the same spot, practicing the same shot all the time? I know I'm guilty of it, so I know most people are probably guilty of that as well. Whereas I think making the best of your short game, there's, there's three things like we mentioned, strike, trajectory, distance control, but they all come with me, for me, actually practicing different shots. You can't develop your distance control if you don't practice different shots. You can't develop your strike if you don't practice different shots. And you can't work on your trajectory if you don't work on different shots. This is the best way to replicate what happens out on the golf course. We never play the same chip every single time. Right, let's go for the easy one, or what is meant to be easier. Doesn't feel very easy off this. Ball two. Black one, here we go. I'm so scared of duffing this. Strike, let's go. No good. Nice strike though. Nice strike. Nice strike. Cheers mate. Wasn't that bad. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness though, no. if you can work on this straight away, I'm forgetting all of my mechanical thoughts. I'm just getting into what I need to do for that shot, which if you think about it that way, like I've just said, you need to be in that space on the golf course. We can't be thinking about where our little finger is trying to strike the chip. We've gotta be more honed into how far is this distance, what trajectory do I wanna do, and the strike of the shot. Last two. Here we go, guys, comment down below. I'm gonna do these last two to the blue. Pause the video, put down below, will I get both of them in? Or I get on at all. Let's see what your faith in faith in is in me as a golfer. Not a golf coach, a golfer. Oh dear. Here we go. <laughs> I'm actually a nice chip. It's not gone to pot it. I'm actually a nice chip. There we go. Oh, it was so close. My thing about that is they were all good strikes and were probably being decent shots out on the golf course. That is really, really hard. 
Okay, before I tell you about the watch, let's tell you how you can set this up at home to really hone yourself onto those three factors, strike, trajectory, distance control. So I mentioned a cheaper way or a way you can do this same drill from home to work on those three factors. What you gotta do is, is basically find your oldest step ladders that you used to do the painting with. There we go. So what we're looking to do is get one through the bottom, one through here, one through the top. Now, obviously, as I mentioned before, with these, you can put one a little bit further forwards, one a little bit further back. That would be the ideal scenario, but this is still a great way for you to improve your chipping. So I thoroughly believe these three right here could possibly be the best training aid right now. And if you think so too, please do hit that thumbs up button. Okay. The time you've been waiting for, how do you win the Golf Buddy Watch? So how do you win the Golf Buddy Watch? It's easy. Number one, make sure you subscribe to Alex Elliott Golf. Number two, make sure you head over to Golf Buddy UK on Instagram and give them a follow. And for an extra entry, share this video with three friends and comment down below, hashtag shared. Best of luck, winner will be announced tomorrow. So you've got this chance to enter.